A developing story we're following today. Mayor Eric Adams is heading to the U.S. southern border in Texas as he seeks assistance in dealing with a record number of migrants arriving here in New York. Yesterday, the mayor asked Governor Hochul, excuse me, for help housing them. CBS 2's Christina Fan is live at the Port Authority in Midtown with the very latest. Christina. Good morning, Andrea. Mayor Adams says the situation couldn't be more dire. The city is running out of room at its 74 emergency shelters, and he is asking for the state to take on 500 migrants for starters and says that number could rise. Shelters are bursting at the seams from the endless flow of migrant buses. Mayor Adams says the city has reached a breaking point. As more than 3,000 arrived this past week, 835 last Thursday alone, the highest ever single day total. What is happening in El Paso, Houston, Washington, Chicago, New York, uh, it is unfair. It's unfair to all of our cities. The mayor plans to visit the southern border this weekend in search for solutions. His first stop will be in El Paso as he hopes to provoke a national discussion. Uh, we should have a real decompression strategy so that uh, those who are seeking uh, asylum is ha will have the opportunity to spread throughout the state and throughout the country so that the entire country would deal with this national issue. Adams is also pleading to Governor Hochul for help. His office filed an emergency mutual aid request, asking the state to take 500 migrants off the city's hands by housing them. Even with Governor Hochul, she just had her state of the state. She said one sentence about the migrant and refugee asylum crisis. We need our state partners to step up and give us more funding. City Council Member Julie Wan has 28 shelters in her Western Queens District, holding about 3,000 migrants, and says they are just not getting the proper care. We're seeing people cry out for mental health services, health care. Six families had chicken pox, yet they did not receive the care that they need. So, yes, we need to accept people, but we need to make sure that we're giving them the services they need. A spokesperson for Governor Hochul says, quote, we are reviewing the city's recent requests and that the federal government must do more to both fund localities and to deal with the crisis holistically. Her office says the state has already deployed more than 900 members of the National Guard and invested millions in legal assistance to asylum seekers. And the mayor says this crisis is expected to cost the city between 1.5 to 2 billion dollars and that every service from transportation to hospitals to public safety will be impacted. We're live from the Port Authority bus terminal. Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.